healthy kidneys filter up to 170 litres of plasma water, of which only 2 litres are excreted as urine containing waste products. If kidney function is lost, these waste solutes cannot be degraded or excreted and therefore accumulate in the body. Some of these accumulating products may negatively affect physiological processes and are referred to as uremic toxins. The European Uremic Toxins Work Group classifies uremic toxins into three categories according to the various physico-chemical properties and the associated adverse effects. Some of the uremic toxins are metabolic waste products. Others are derived from the intestine, all of which are mostly water-soluble and of differing molecular sizes, with some solutes being protein-bound. Studies on several uremic toxins such as beta-2 microglobulin are associated with cardiovascular health and mortality, while other uremic retention products are lacking such scientific evidence. Some studies demonstrated the removal of larger uremic toxin molecules to be beneficial on patient mortality risk. At the same time, removal of large molecules such as albumin closely predicts mortality in patients. Rosner and colleagues therefore proposed an updated classification of uremic toxins according to protein affinity and molecular weight, with a distinction on whether or not scientific evidence is available on pathological outcomes. It is therefore crucial to point out that different solutes or toxins of different sizes are differentially removed depending on the type of dialysis modality. The future classification of uremic toxins should consider patient profiles and mapping them against single or panels of biomarkers, with the proposed removal technique allocated to such biomarkers. Bowery and colleagues propose such a new approach by targeting molecular clusters that have been shown to be deleterious, evidence-linked uremic toxin elimination. These clusters correlate to key membrane properties such as pore size, porosity and separation processes, considering the capabilities and limitations of current dialysis membranes to remove uremic toxins. Finding the right balance of uremic toxin removal versus preventing the removal of beneficial and necessary substances for the patient's healthy physiology is key, a goal towards which scientists keep working to every day.